Hey, what's up, beautiful souls? Happy Thursday. Hope everybody's day is going well, and I hope that your day has been filled with love and laughter. And if not, if you've had a rough day, just know that you are loved and that you are enough, and tomorrow is a new day. So take the lessons from today and, and move forward and, and be a little bit better version of yourself tomorrow. Today I wanted to talk about the physical body and how important it is to take care of your physical body, not only to be physically healthy, but to also be mentally stable and spiritually abundant. The three pillars of life, the mind, body, spirit, are so directly correlated. They're, they're really one. They're, they're absolutely one. And a lot of people lose track of that. And, um, a lot of people dealing in this, in our society, dealing with anxiety and depression and, and all kinds of other uh, mental illnesses. One way to alleviate some of these things is to be mindful of your body. Um, anywhere from the amount of oxygen that you're intaking and in, in your normal breathing, your unconscious breathing, being conscious of your breath, being conscious of your water intake, being conscious of your posture. That's a huge one that people overlook that not only helps you um, physically eliminate some of the aches and pains in your shoulders and your neck and your back, but also mood wise. If, if you notice or you're mindful of somebody with depression or you suffer from depression yourself, bring your awareness to the posture that this person holds. It's usually shoulders slumped forward, uh, almost in a defeated, in a defeated um, posture. So your, your posture directly correlates with mood and it, it can really be uh, a great tool to use to bring yourself out of said negative moods or, um, you know, whatever it is that you're battling mentally. And, and another thing with the human body is the human body is the subconscious mind. You know, they, they say 95% of our reality is dictated by the subconscious mind. Um, and, and you'll learn this if you start to study the body and how energy works and how energy can be stored within your human vessel. Um, it, it's really, really a profound thought and, and a profound finding, if you will, because we've got to understand that not only taking care of our physical body for the physical aspects of it, but taking care of your physical body for the, the spiritual and the, the mental aspect of it. Because when you go through a traumatic event and you suppress said traumatic event, um, that doesn't go somewhere back of your brain. It, it, goes somewhere in your body that energy is stored somewhere in your body even if it's not physical abuse that that has created the trauma um, the energy from a happening is, is stored in your body and that can manifest itself as injury it can mental uh, manifest as mental illness as as it was about to come out um, injury disease it, it can manifest in an infinite number of ways and you know, we get caught in a depressive state and we can't bring our conscious mind to work through this at the time. Uh, a, a great way to start to work through it is to start to unlock your body and unlock your muscles. Because um, when I first started my, my awareness and my health journey after my back surgery and after my father dying, I, I really dove deep in into different things and had some wonderful teachers along the way to teach me about the body and how unlocking the body also unlocks the, the spirit and the mind and, and vice versa. The, all three are interchangeable because they are all one. So uh, one tool that I used for, for my physical body is a foam roller. And for me, I learned the, the hard way uh, about the subconscious mind being the body is when I first started to use my foam roller. Uh, there was a couple points in, in my hips and my lower back that I would roll out and it brought me tears and it brought me heavy negative emotion. And, 
And as I sat with it and I, I brought it to my conscious awareness, these traumatic events from my childhood started surfacing. So uh, just the act of uh, taking care of my physical body and, and rolling my muscles and, and alleviating the knots in my muscles and, and allowing them to elongate, elongate to their, their proper length and it really opened up my mind and uh, brought my conscious awareness to this stored energy that I had within my body. And it's, it's, it's really amazing. And there's a lot of more intelligent people that have devoted their lives to studying these things that, that have literature out there that if, if this intrigues you start to start to look into it because it's a, it's a really profound finding and uh, it's really beautiful that, um, you know, as we can't work through things mentally, maybe we can take on an aspect of physical exertion as far as exercise and, and uh, conscious breathing and these things that, that can help us mentally surface and, and um, move through these happenings so that we can unlock our minds as well. So I hope this helps. I hope this, hope this just brings awareness to how important your body is and how important your posture is and how important uh, your breathing is and how important your uh, physical fitness is in general for your mind and your spirit because when you take care of one essentially you're taking care of all three and it can help you unlock the other two so I love you guys. I, I pray for all of you and I hope that you guys have an absolutely wonderful evening or, or day or night or wherever it is that this message finds you. I hope that you are able to be present and you have an absolutely magical day. Blessings.